you love the original's lavish sets, great songs, and dark sense of humor. And you've also seen the Tim Burton version. <laughs> but when the people who made Paddington have a new project, you sit down and enjoy some cozy British whimsy, all right? Now cut the snark and feel something other than smug for 90 minutes. Is that so f***ing hard? F Wonka. In a world where candy gets you turned. An incredible edible. One plug will help the fiends re-up with that Wonka pack. Just pop one in and everything becomes a Broadway show. But when he moves against a cartel who cooks the books at the cut house under the church. There were two sets of books. They'd been watering down their chocolate. Young Wonk will try to stay one step ahead of the shooters and give Shorty points on the package to show him how the game is played. We'll split the profits and pay off Mrs. Scrubbit in no time. Yeah, I have been re-watching The Wire. Why do you ask? Forget everything you know about Willy Wonka, especially the stuff that made him interesting. You see, back in the day, he was just a naive little sweetie. Well, that all seems to be in order. Really? Like clinically dumb. You can't read, can you? Who was born with the most tragic case of about to be dead mom in cinema history. I'll be right there beside you. Promise? I think you promise. You know, sometimes it's best to leave an icon's origins a mystery, especially if you're Timothy Chalamet. I'm getting done on a daily. To me, Tim, the next Slim Shady. Oh. Like a Dungeon Dragon, like a Dungeon Dragon, like a Dungeon Dragon. Statistics, statistics, statistics. Also suffering, the lower class. He doesn't like it when people say poor. <laughs> Get ready for a film that proves, even in our fantasies, we can't imagine an affordable city. You have incurred a few extras during the course of your residency. Where the battle between nice candy salesmen and mean candy salesmen takes a backseat to the war between ownership and the proletariat. I gave her a handful of sovereigns and had her escorted from my property. And sure, knowing that the hero becomes a cynical factory boss who keeps a staff of slaves might tweak the final message a bit. But that's the sequel's problem. Look, look, Tiny Hugh Grant in a jetpack. Whee! Cinema! You've seen Timmy have his way with sweets before. Now, watch him make all sorts of delicious candy out of disgusting ingredients. That's the hoverfly. It's broken out of its cocoon. It's flapping its wings. Salted with the bittersweet tears of a Russian clown. I require the milk of a giraffe. That seems about as sick to put in your body as the Morbius G Fuel Powder. Take heat, eat more than three, and you'll end up like a gorilla. She thought the chocolate was weird. I'm gonna hate what happens next. It appears that the chocolates have been poisoned! Nevertheless, Wonka still becomes the toast of, uh, where does this take place again? The weather is Norway, the signs are German, the names are French, and everyone's speaking English? One chocolatier moved on for the usual fee. Hey, that guy's from New York. We can't even settle on the continent. Fuck em, boys. Follow along on Wonka's epic quest to escape debt slavery alongside a team of trafficked migrant workers. They got all of you too, did they? I'm afraid so. And yet another stealth musical filled with way more songs than advertised. But if you don't like that genre, fear not, because you won't remember the songs anyway. As Timmy puts his one octave range to work in non-bops like words that rhyme with noodle. Noodle, strudel, doodle, poodle, moodle. Describing what we're doing, scrub, scrub. When you turn the giant handle, scrub, scrub. And, um, uh, come on, I just watched it. Should we remember one more? The uh, crap. Is there a song about chocolate? There's chocolate. And there's chocolate. Chocolate bushes. Chocolate trees. You've never had chocolate like this. Huh, <laughs> lucky guess. All I remember is his version of Tiny Horse. They're taking him away from me, yeah. Tiny Horse. So give yourself over to one of the year's zaniest concoctions. I don't have a bonk on the head. I with a little something for everyone. It means we're gonna fart them out of our pussies. That puts a fresh spin on some classic IP, but still has to hit the legally mandated number of references. Wait a minute, what's all that small print huh? there at the bottom? A, a lifetime, lifetime supply, supply of chocolate. Oompa, loompa, doompa, dee dee. Nothing to it. Not bad. Strike nope. that. Scratch that. Reverse, Reverse it. it. We don't like our imagination too pure. God forbid we try something original. Oh dear. I've just been a little bit sick in my mouth. Starring. Dolmy me by your name. Roman Noodles. Oh, is Olivia Coleman down in it, my pet? Hired Gooner. Creep Show. Three Twix Mafia. 
Orange Man Bad, Jim Carter of Mars, A Dank Candy Sketch Show, The Great British Baking Shop, Raw and Order, Eminem, Mr. Coco Bean, Wonka Wonka, huh? and the mom to every British children's fantasy character, Chocolate Salty Brawls. Hang on, if the opening musical number was only happening in Willie's imagination, how can we trust anything else that we see? He froze to death on that park bench, huh? Autobots, it's trailer time. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. I'm from Waterloo, where the vampires hang out. Poor little bug on the wall, ding jing. No one to love him at all, ding jing.